This is World Anvil, how to create an account. Let's go. So, first of all, welcome to World Anvil. Uh, I would like you to go to worldanvil.com and click here where it says create your account. And that will bring you ba -ba, to this page. So this is standard account creation, your email, please, and a username. We only use your email to make sure that you can get your password back. So it's pretty important for that, but otherwise we're not gonna be sending you messages. Fill in a password. Please do read our terms of service and etiquette and click this button and then hit register and that will get you ba -ba, to here. So your account is created, but now it's time to set it up. So we're gonna hit this green button right here. First question, do you like light mode or one of our two dark mode options? You can click around and choose what you prefer. Next up, select your features. So this is where you can customize World Anvil for you and see the features that are going to be the most useful for you. Uh, these first four are all to do with what kind of world builder you are, or indeed if you are a world builder. If you're an RPG player, you can probably turn off world building features. Otherwise, GMs and writers and artists and all you other creators, you probably want to keep those on. Uh, most of the others are pretty self-explanatory. RPG features are for RPG beans. Novel writing features are for novel writing beans. Next up, we have not safe for work content. So this is community content that is labeled mature. You will not automatically be able to see this, but if you would like to, you can enable that right here just by clicking on the panel. Uh, accessibility and usability. This includes a screen reader uh, and some other features to uh, help you with accessibility on the website. By uh, default, our newsletter is disabled, but if you click here, you will hear from us occasionally with support and giveaways and some fun stuff. We don't email you very often, but when we do, we try and make it worth your while. G uh, give this a click and uh, yeah, we'll be in your inbox to support you. That's it. That's the features. So next up, we're going to choose our editor style. So there's two options here. The Plato editor is great and straightforward for simple things. If all you need is simple text editing and minimal formatting like bold italics headers, then Plato is going to be the one for you. That's this one here. If you want to do complicated layout, then you will want Euclid. But if you are starting out with World Anvil, I recommend starting with Plato. And you can move to Euclid later. Let me show you how to do that. So choose your editor again i'm going to stick with plato and then finally choose your path do you want to create your world probably if you're a gm or novel writer this is what you want to select or do you want to create your rpg character if you are playing in somebody else's game this is the option you want to select i'm going to click create my world because i'm a gm and writer and that's going to take me to the world creation phase um let's fill this in very quickly i've just given it a name you know, close our flash cell, it's going on right now. If you would like to, at any point, change the features, you can do that from here. If you would like to change your editor, that's Plato versus Euclid, you can do that from interface right here. Really, really quick. Uh, the other thing I want to point out while you're new here and welcome is this question mark here. If you click this, you will find access to all of our help resources. This is really important. We want to make sure you have all the help you need from the get go. So that's it. That's how to create count on World Anvil. You've done it. Congratulations. Now grab your hammer and go world build.